Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about bridal makeup. If you're a freelance artist, how to pack for brides. If you're an upcoming bride, um, these are some products you might be interested in. If you're interested in doing your own makeup, um, these are some products that might help you, you know, help steer you in the right direction. Um, I'm gonna be going over skin prep, foundation, um, you know, little nuances, you know, eyeshadows, you know, all that. Um, so let's get started. So the most important thing I feel um, for any makeup application, but particularly for brides, is a skin prep. If the skin prep is bad, your makeup is not going to last all day. So make sure you wash your face, and I always recommend you applying your makeup um, within, at most, 30 minutes after you wash and moisturize your face. Moisturizing is super important. Sorry, if you hear something, it's my little puppy. She is chewing on her little teething ring. It's like a rawhide thing, and she is... She's making a ton of noise, so if you hear her, excuse her. Um, yes, honey. She wants attention, too. Okay, so as I was saying, um, skin prep. So if you're moisturized, if your skin is not moisturized, your foundation is not going to go on well, and it's not going to last all day. Especially if you're dry, you want to make sure your skin is super moisturized, super hydrated, before you even prime, before anything. Because if your skin is dry, the foundation will not go on smoothly. It's gonna start caking up in certain places. It's gonna pull. It's just not gonna look good. And on your, on and on your big day, you wanna you know you wanna look as flawless and as glowy as possible. Now for your oily skin girls, I know you're probably thinking like moisturize. Like my skin got moisture. Like it's oily. No girl. So your skin is producing oil because it needs moisture you're not moisturizing so it feels in the need so it feels the need to overcompensate by overproducing oil you can train your skin to produce less oil by properly moisturizing so from a rides always wash your face and moisturize properly i always recommend the um clinique dramatic moist um excuse me the clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel this one um is great for oily skin if you are dry i recommend the dramatically different moisturizing lotion if you're not if you're normal to combination you can use either of these <sighs> if you're normal to combination you could use either version of these I personally use this on myself and it's it goes great under makeup application it provides just the perfect amount of moisture and I use this on all clients so my freelancers if your bride comes to you and she has not washed her face and she has not prepped her skin at all it is up to you to do that to her to provide yourself a good canvas to work with so I recommend cleansing with a micellar cleansing water this is um, the American version of the um, UK I believe it's called the Bioderma I like the Bioderma a lot more but this is the one I have just because it's easier to get my hands on so always clean their face with this and then go in and go ahead and moisturize with your um, moisturizer of choice and it's very important to um, also treat the under eye because the under eye does not produce its own oil or it doesn't produce its own moisture so go in with like an eye balm or something um, you know so prep their skin let it sit for like maybe five minutes let all the products absorb if you go in immediately with makeup your makeup will indeed slip and slide and it might actually be worse than if you didn't prep their skin so brides tend to ask for the same thing over and over again. They want to look glowy, but they want to look healthy at the same time. And even my oily girls, you know, they want to look glowy, but not oily. So for my dry girls, I recommend the primer water. Um, I can't say that it's going to make your makeup last any longer than it typically does, but it does hydrate and it does... Um, in my opinion and in my experience it has helped with the makeup application and this works for dry and oily it is the mac fix plus it is important to not use too much of it on your oily girls because it can get real dewy real quick and oily girls don't like being dewy but for my dry girls so a spritz of either this or this right before makeup application let it set let it dry and then go ahead go ahead go in and prime your skin and you're good to go Okay, so next you want to prime the skin. You want this makeup to last all day, all night, through tears, through joy. You want it to last through everything. It has to be bulletproof. So priming, very important, and it's very important to use the proper primer. So dry, oily, you want to use a smoothing one or you want to use a, a mattifying one. Depending on what their skin type is, um, you want to provide a smooth canvas for you to work on. Always prime the eyeshadow. I like to use Urban Decay Potion Primer, and that will make your eyeshadows last all day. For sure. Okay, so next up is foundations. I know a lot of people do use the airbrush foundation, the Temp2 one. I do have an airbrush um, machine, though I don't 
use it and I don't typically offer it to clients because in my opinion and in my experience I feel like you can achieve the same if not better um, quality of makeup the same um, you know the same finish with just foundation and a brush and I don't know I just don't feel like you need it on the face the only time I do agree with using um, an airbrush machine is for um, body work so I feel like airbrushing the body does make you know a huge huge difference for my oily girls I do recommend something like Estee Lauder double wear it is full coverage and it will stay put um, I recommend the um, NARS sheer matte foundation I don't know if they make it anymore I mean I have a bottle of mine but I don't see it in stores anymore it's a sheer matte foundation it keeps your skin matte um, but at the same time it's super sheer so you know if you want something super light super nice and um super sheer but you know still offering a little bit of coverage i recommend that one what else um i like to use what else do I use? Oh yeah, the MAC uh, Face and Body. That one I think, um, don't quote me on this, but I think the percentage is like 90% water and like 10% pigment. So it's literally just water and pigment and it's perfect for um, like, you know, the title suggests face and body. Yeah, that one works amazingly. Um, for my dry girls, I recommend something like Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. It gives you the perfect dewy finish or um, the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So you have the Sheer Matte and the Sheer Glow. Sheer Glow is perfect for brides, super sheer but super lightweight at the same time. But at the same time, it will provide you with the coverage you need while giving you a glow. I always recommend something with little to no SPF, preferably no SPF. Um, all the foundations that I use have no SPF in it, just because at night when you have your flash photography, you might have that white cast. And that's pretty much like the last thing you want on your wedding day. Okay, so as for me, I have all these foundations that I have. I keep them in like an Amazon box because I don't have storage for them right now but I have all these like depotted foundations. I have a matte side and then I have a dewy side. These are all types of foundations. Um, I mean, I have like a random Maybelline Fit Me ones. A couple of them in here are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. They're really good as well. Um, I have a couple matte ones in here, a couple of, um, what else do I have in here? I have like a lot of different ranges of foundation, but mainly I like to use the um, Bobbi Brown um, stick foundations. I have them depotted. Let me see if I can find an angle where I don't blind you guys. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So I have them depotted into a MAC um, pan this way. These, um, both of these sides are the same, but I have them on in all colors and it works perfectly well for dry and oily skin. It provides the most natural coverage. You know, it's very buildable, so it's ideal for brides. And I feel like this has given me the most airbrush finish of all, of all time. A lot of times I do like to use cream foundations over liquid foundations because liquids don't always work for everybody. With a cream, you can always add an oil to make it suit better a dry skin girl or you can use it as is for oily skin once you set it with powder the finish is completely flawless okay next is powders you always want to set your foundation with powder without a powder your foundation will leave you because throughout the day you always absentmindedly touch your face whether on accident on purpose whatever it is if you don't set your foundation it will leave you i always recommend something like a laura mercier um a translucent powder either to bake or to at least set it a little bit the um yeah, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish is great too. It provides a sheer amount of coverage. I always use that on brides and on um, teenage girls just because it provides a very sheer amount of coverage. You can um, always add more, but it um, gives you a more luminous finish and it works well with dry and oily girls. Um, another product that I like to use is the Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Compact um, Foundation Powder. They recently came out with it and it's, it's like the um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish but better that powder provides more luminosity without looking too oily but at the same time it will still set your face and it's great for dry and oily girls i personally love that one and i'm a very oily girl as i don't know if you could probably start seeing in my nose it's, it's coming guys it's coming the so next up is eyeshadows as far as i have learned with my clientele and my past experience all brides kind of want the same thing they don't want to look completely different they want to look like themselves but a little better something smoky but not too smoky they want something bridal and so for that i have customized my own basically my bridal 
palette and this is the one that I tend to reach for to do my brides and my bridal entourage. It has a lot of soft browns, a lot of transition colors. I have cools, I have warms, I have some purple tones in here and then I have a range of lid colors. Um, you know, on that day, they tend to not want something like super dramatic, something not, nothing super black. They want something that will just enhance themselves. They want to look like themselves, but just a little better. You now, I have blacks in here. I have grays. I have browns. I think this one is texture? No. Okay, this one is Smoke by Anastasia. Makeup Geek Barcelona Beach is perfect. Um, I also have Urban Decay, um, Beware, Buck, Naked, and then Max, Wedge Cork. A whole bunch of transition colors. This one's like my favorite. I like to use this one on brides. It's, um, yeah, Urban Decay Tees and Urban Decay Laced. Have these two provide the perfect purpley, you know, it's so soft, so feminine, and I love it. This paired with like a darker brown. Oh my god. Perfect for brides, perfect for the bridal entourage. And then these bottom rows, um, I have MAC All That Glitters, MAC. I think this one's either Naked Lunch or something. I remember, I love this one. Rice paper. So eyeshadows like that I find are perfect for the lid. Um, it's soft enough, it's not too glittery, but at the same time it's gonna provide them with that glow. And I like to use the Makeup Geek um, foiled eyeshadows when you want something a lot more intense. Personally, I love it. So yeah, this palette has never failed me for brides. Okay, eyeliner. Um, I like to use a gel. It's right in between liquid, but not quite a pencil. Cause with a pencil, I feel like you do have to work kind of hard to get it on the lid. But at the same time, with a liquid liner, it's not forgiving and sometimes it could be a little too harsh. So with a gel, it's still gonna last all day. It, um, it provides that same longevity as a liquid liner, but it's a lot more natural and it goes on, I feel like it goes, it's like that perfect in between. It's not too harsh, but it's still smudged I love the Bobbi Brown gel liners, or if not the Maybelline gel liners from the drugstore. It's a good dupe for it. Um, for bottom liners, I like pencils for bottom liners. I like something like um, MAC Costa Riche. It's a reddish brown. Um, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist used it on her and it kind of took the world by storm. Um, yeah, MAC Costa Riche is really good. Or the MAC PowerPoint pencil in Stubborn Brown. That one's a more neutral brown and it works for all skin tone, skin types. I like to use browns as opposed to blacks on brides for um, their lower lash line that day because it's a lot more softer and it opens up the eye more than a um, black liner would. For mascara, um, a mascara, honestly, it, it really depends because there's a lot of great mascaras out there. Honestly, I love the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Mascara. It's never failed me. Or if you want to, if you really want to go for it, the um, Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. The um, one thing that I do recommend on a wedding day is you, it has to be waterproof. You, we, the bride is going to cry or it might be hot. Regardless, you want it to last all day. So make that shit waterproof. You want to get a waterproof formula. Waterproof formulas are wax based as opposed to oil or water based and it will last long and it will keep a curl longer. Okay, so for false lashes, you know, some brides don't want to use false lashes, some brides do. So I like to recommend a variety of false lashes um, for brides. Uh, if you love me, okay, if you're familiar with mink lashes, I recommend mink lashes that are super fluffy, super beautiful, super natural. For my Asian girls, not all mink lashes will, you know, will work on you. I'm sorry. That's just how it is, especially if you have um, eyes that are kind of like mine. Um, I learned that the hard way because uh, for my senior portraits, I went and got a pair of false lashes um, in, in high school. And this was before I knew any better. So I got a pair of false lashes at CVS and I was like, oh my God, they're so pretty. I go home, I put them on and I was like, this don't look right. So you know what? Yeah, so with eyes this small, you can't always pull off a pair of like super dramatic lashes just because it could be, it could look a little overwhelming and your eyes can look top heavy, which I mean, when you have small eyes um, or you have hooded eyes like me and you know, there's already a lot going on in your top, um, in your upper lid. And if you add like a pair of heavy false lashes, it's just not gonna, you're, you're not gonna look balanced. So I recommend something like Red Cherry for um, my Asian girls. Red Cherry 747, either XS or X small, small, or U. Those are the three sizes that I recommend for eyes that are similar like mine. For any standard eye, basically any um, lash will look good on you. Um, I do recommend 
individual lashes for brides just because you know it tends to look a lot more natural and that's what brides kind of want they want to look natural okay brows brows super important you can never neglect brows i recommend the anastasia brow wiz because it provides you with a more feathery more um natural looking brow the dip brow pomade is pretty good too but it gives you a really sculpted brow if you're after that look go for it but i always recommend the um anastasia brow wiz Okay, always set your brows. Um, brow gel. I like to use a Maybelline one. It's a clear mascara. Everybody, I think everybody knows about it. I love using that, but if you're gonna go for it, the Anastasia brow gel, it's like super glue. It's super glue. Okay, for blush. Now, it really depends on what the bride wants. Um, I typically like to use something more on the sheer side, nothing too dramatic. Um, MAC Peaches is pretty good. I love that. Um, I use it on myself, and I use it for, I've used it for like almost all clients. It's more of a sheer tone blush. Um, you know what? Let me go grab it. Okay, so I'm back, and I grabbed my um, MAC palette. This is the one that I have had for super long. This one is Peaches, and then I have Melba, and I believe... Melba? Melba and Mocha. These are perfect blushes for brides. This is actually not a blush. This is um, a sculpting powder. It's called Emphasize. Perfect for brides as well. These blushes are sheer enough, but buildable, and it's, you know, it's perfect. It's the perfect colors to just give that, like, flush of color. I also do like the um, NARS Orgasm Blush. It has, um, you know, it has some luminosity to it and it gives your cheek that like perfect glow. Okay, personally, I find that the Morphe 9B palette works perfectly fine. Um, there's another one that I want to get my hands on. Um, Morphe released it recently. I think it's called the 9N. Um, this one works perfectly well. It's super pigmented and it works well for all skin tone skin types. This color right here on my deep girls, game over it is so good okay highlight now highlighting it's kind of like a new thing this had I think this I mean it's not that new but highlighting didn't take the world by storm until like a couple years ago and now highlighting is all the um it's all the rage but the one highlighter that I do recommend is the hourglass highlighter in I think it's called luminous light it is so natural like it's so I can't even describe it. I have it. But, you know, let me go get that too. I went to go grab a highlighter and I came back with the tofu. Hi, baby. You always want to cuddle when I'm filming. What's up? Tofu, you want to say hi? Oh, <laughs> not to me. Say hi, tofu. Say hi. No? Oh, you're so cute. She needs to be brushed. Excuse her. So, I came back, I grabbed it. Here is the Hourglass Highlighter in Luminous Light. Let me see if I can do like a proper swatch for you. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it because it's more of like a natural glow. You see this highlight that I have on my cheek? You probably... This would be... It's not that intense. Let's see. Oh, actually, you can see it. It's super pretty. It looks... It's more of a glow from within highlighter and... If I had to choose one highlighter in the world, actually no. Okay, two highlighters in the world, it'd be Champagne Pop and it'd be this one. You can't go wrong with Champagne Pop. Maybe I'm biased. Okay, so Luminous Light Highlighter, perfect. Um, or if you want to go with the cream highlighter, um, Becca has, you know, a great, li um, a great line of the um, uh, skin perfecting highlighters. Those are super popular. They come in powdered forms, but they also come in cream forms, and they're called the poured um, formula. So, as I mentioned earlier, I like Champagne Bob. So that one comes in a poured formula, and it's great for brides and great for mature skin. So it's um, not a stark highlight like you see here, but it's more like a neutral highlight since it's a cream. Um, I know it's great on mature skin because I've worked with it on mature skin, and especially if you just dab it in with a beauty blender, it just... <sighs> it's like porn. It's great. Okay, so now that you have the entire face done, you want to spray. You want to set their makeup because you don't want it budging. If they're oily, I like to use the Urban Decay. I think I have it right here. Yes. I have the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This one is great for oily girls because it will keep them oily. So, like I said before, like you want to spray before and after, and you want to make like a sandwich. 
a like a setting spray sandwich so you spray apply makeup and then spray again and that way your makeup will not move um, likewise with my dry girls you would want to spray again with Mac fix plus or the smashbox um, uh, primer water I mean I know this is primer but like if you spray a little bit afterwards it's just gonna look super glowy or if you want to go for it I would take the um, Mac strobe cream it's you just take a very very small amount rub it in your hands and just gently pat their cheeks and they're just gonna look super glowy super dewy super bridal okay now for lips um, for brides I always recommend like a nude but it's really up to the bride whether they want to go darker or lighter you know, you can't go wrong with a standard lipstick and lip gloss combination. I know liquid lipsticks are all the rage, but the thing is, as soon as you eat greasy foods, it's game over. And if they don't have the actual liquid lipstick there to touch up, their makeup's going to look fucked up all night and you don't want that. So at least with like lipstick, lip gloss combination, if it um, ever, you know, if they're eating and it goes away, it'll be fine they can wipe it off the napkin and it'll be fine but with liquid lipstick it's a little it's a little trickier okay so I think I've covered everything when it comes to makeup application so um another thing that I want to touch on so the night before you you know the night before your big event you get married this is you know this these tips aren't just gonna be for marriage but if you have a big event um stay away from salty foods because salt makes you retain water and your skin and your face will kind of bloat a little bit so i would stay away from salty foods my ramen eaters i know ramen's good it's good it's bomb but you know you can't be having that right before your wedding mm -mm, no don't eat it um you know i always recommend doing a face mask either a couple days or the day before your um your event um getting facials i don't recommend getting a facial especially like if you're gonna get like acne removal like none of that no like i don't recommend getting that right before your wedding i recommend getting that at least a week before if you're gonna get like a treatment of some sort because um after the treatment your skin does swell up um i know from experience because yeah so the skin does swell up and you're gonna have like all these spots and you know you want to give yourself some time to heal you want to give your skin some time to heal before you go in and go ham with all this makeup and you know you want to look flawless so i understand that you want to do skin prep and all that but do any treatments any you know microdermabrasions all that do it a week before hydration um i definitely recommend staying hydrated i mean you should stay hydrated in general you know for life but you should always i know i recommend you staying hydrated um at least a week before what else um no, 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 no. okay so like i mentioned before with the foundations you know it's important to pick out your best foundation um something that works for you and i recommend trying it at least two weeks beforehand so that if you you know just wear it for a day you know just put it on wear it okay just go ahead and prep your skin the same way that you plan to prep your skin on the day of your event or for your wedding and then just wear your foundation that way for the entire day see if you like it see if it oxidizes you know that way you have time to figure out you know the perfect foundation for you because i totally understand um you know you want your face to look flawless okay for my freelancers i always do a makeup trial for my brides you know you can't always and i don't recommend you to do makeup on the fly for them you know for prom sometimes people do want like a makeup trial if they're a little uneasy but for the most part like no one really does makeup trials for anything but brides because it's more of a personal experience and it's more you know the nuances of the makeup application it's a little more precise so a technique that you use on one person may not work on another so I always have my brides come in for a trial run where I'll go over the products with them I'll slowly apply and I'll go over each and every step with them you know see what they like see what they didn't like and I'll take note of it and I always have it written down on like you know the notes written down on a piece of paper where you know whether it's um, eyeliner too dark use brown instead or less blush or different formulation you know just what worked for her that day I always write it down on a, a piece of paper so that on the day of the wedding I can um, refer back to the paper and I could remember the steps that I took because you know sometimes the trials can be months two weeks you know maybe even like a year before so and you know you don't always remember these certain details about like these certain clients so it's always best to write you know all your notes down um so on the day of the wedding I always bring my notes and I always ask the bride okay like you do remember our makeup trial you know a point a b and c worked for you then or during the makeup trial do you still want to do points a b and c you know just go over the notes with them go over everything and make sure that they, that this is what they want 
she's getting needy so she wants me to hold her so i'm just gonna have her in my lap okay last and final thing um it's such a small detail but it's the little things that matter as you know i learned quickly from my freelancing days is to give my brides a um a sample of their lipstick i know it's something so simple but you know that way they can retouch it throughout the day and you know they don't feel you know like their makeup's incomplete i actually don't have any containers with me right now because i need to go buy more but they're just like little containers like they're like that big and i always put them in like a, a small little like bag with um a brush applicator and my business card and i um you know i pre-make them and then i'll just put a little sample of their um lipstick in the jar i give it to them in a little tiny bag and they're always like oh my god it is so cute they say it exactly like that every time um and it's little things like that that you know it makes it takes that experience to a more luxurious level and it makes them really remember you Okay, so I hope this helped um, to all my freelancers out there and you know if you want to do bridal makeup I hope these steps helped you you know kind of get you started you know these are like little details that you should always pay attention to I hope this got you in the right direction um, for all my brides out there um, congratulations on getting married and you know I'm I'm trying to get married over here too but um, <laughs> so congratulations on getting married um, I hope these steps help you. I know it could be a very nerve-wracking experience and I know you want your makeup to look super perfect that day and I hope, you know, these tips helped you. You know, one final congratulations to all my brides out there. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. What happened? You never let me film in peace. Why? I love you. Can you say hi to everybody? Tofu. Hi. Are you like camera shy?